And so I didn't even show the clip just because of that, because there, there was nothing left to show after I edited and made it appropriate for this. Even if it had been heterosexual, even if it hadn't been gay or it hadn't been kids, that material does not need to be in schools. The way that it was described, the language that it used, I mean, it was absolutely disgusting. It, it, was, it was the kind of stuff you will find on a porn site. It really was. And this was in a school library for kids and won an award for being literature suitable for people ages 12 through 18. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. And uh, things have gotten really bad, really, really bad in Virginia. In Fairfax County, for example, there are books that are vividly describing and illustrating gay pedophilia, and they had to be removed here recently. Thank goodness that they actually were removed. But it was only after a mom actually went up to a, a school board meeting and showed them the illustrations. There's cartoons that literally illustrate sex acts. I, I, there, there's not another way to describe it. Here was the report that came uh, uh, of her doing this. This is from ABC News. Gender Queer, an illustrated memoir, contained explicit illustrations of oral sex and masturbation. The novel Lawn Boy, this is the other book that was in there, contains graphic descriptions of sex between men and children. Both books were previous winners of the American Library Association's Alex Award, which each year recognize, quote, 10 books written for adults that have special appeal to young adults ages 12 to 18. Langdon, this is the mom who brought this to the school board's attention, said that the fact that school board members felt compelled to interrupt her when she read graphic passages aloud illustrates her point about the book's inappropriate nature. So what that's talking about is in the process of her just reading straight out of the book, word for word, verbatim quotations, the school board had to say, ma'am, please stop. There are children here. And she was like, yeah, that's my point. This stuff is in our libraries and you won't let me say it here in the school board meeting because children are present. What does that say about you? And by the way, I wanted to show that clip. I really did. I, I downloaded it. I had every intention of showing it. But if I edited it to cut out all of the objectionable material, it'd just be a long series of bleeps. And so I didn't even show the clip just because of that, because there, there was nothing left to show after I edited it and made it appropriate for this. Even if it had been heterosexual, even if it hadn't been gay or it hadn't been kids, that material does not need to be in schools. The way that it was described, the language that it used, I mean, it was absolutely disgusting. It, it, was, it was the kind of stuff you will find on a porn site. It really was. And this was in a school library for kids and won an award for being literature suitable for people ages 12 through 18. I can't read it. I can't discuss it. I put the, if you look down in the video description and the sources, if you want to watch it yourself, you can. But fair warning, it's rough. And in one of those books, there's actual pictures of it taking place. And somehow some person thought this was a good idea and approved it and put it in the library. They are going for your kids' souls. This isn't even just about them teaching them Marxism or, you know, a political ideology that opposes you. And this is what I've been saying for years. Socialism is a rival religion. They are fighting for the souls of your kids. And if you don't stand up and stop it, nobody's going to. Now, granted, I haven't seen things get this bad in the state of Alabama, and I hope that it doesn't. But this is happening in Virginia, which just a couple, well, really about 15-ish years ago, was considered a red state. It can happen fast. Don't think that you're immune to it just because you happen to be in a red state right now. And I, I got to be honest here. I thought that what Matt Walsh did was brilliant. So Matt Walsh, who is a conservative commentator, he has a show on Daily Wire. That's Ben Shapiro's outfit. Uh, Matt Walsh, who I don't always agree with, but I do think that he's actually uh, pretty funny. He decided that, you know, because he feels really strongly about this, as you can tell that I do, and he's a political commentator just like me, 
he was going to go to Virginia to speak at the school board meeting for them showing people, you know, having actual child porn and books describing sex acts between a man and a fourth grader. That is literally what happens in this book in their school library. And so he went down to discuss this and they changed the rules. They said, you know what? We don't want any outside agitators here. We don't want to hear from professional political commentators. We just want to hear from the parents. And so we're changing the rules so that Matt Walsh can't speak here. So then, and this is pretty hysterical, he actually leased a house there. And so he flies down. He actually has the lease of this house now. Um, he is a resident of the state of Virginia, apparently, now. And uh, then they said, okay, well, yeah, you have proof of residency or whatever, but we're going to change the rules again, this time to where you can only speak for 60 seconds. And so it's hilarious to me that their original rationale is, no, we just really want to hear from the parents. We, we only want to hear from the parents, and that's why we're going to make this new rule to where you have to be a resident here. And so if you're not a resident here, you can't come to the school board meeting. And they're like, uh, we're going to limit everybody to 60 seconds. Boy, they really want to hear from the parents. They want to <laughs> cut, cut everybody off at 60 seconds. And they actually said beforehand, uh, we're cutting the mic off at 60 seconds. Once you've hit the 60 second point, you can't talk anymore. These people are cowards and they know that their position is indefensible, which is the reason that they hide. It's the reason that they do not want to have that discussion because they know that what Matt Walsh is saying, and if you get a chance to look up his, his 60 second speech, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, look that up. But it, they're just a, such a bunch of hypocrites because they say we really want the parents' input and we really want to hear from the parents. And then when Matt Walsh actually does what they ask and jumps through hoops for them, they go like, yeah, we don't really want to hear from the parents. We decided against that. Progressives always try to aid you out. And these people are no different. They're trying to build a barrier between you and your kid and they're trying to create a wedge point because they know that if they do that, Aging you out means you, your values die with you and your parent, your, sorry, your children don't share your values. Now, I'm extremely grateful that I grew up in a home where my values did come from my parents. That's not a bad thing. That's part of a parent's job is to, you know, teach you their values. And sometimes parents teach bad values and then it's up to the kid to unlearn those and learn good ones. But the point is, it is a parent's job to do the best that they can to convey good values, good morals, and good behavior onto their kids. The school wants to be the ones responsible for that instead of you. Don't let them. To convince you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'm about to do some political impersonations. First up, Bernie Sanders. It is immoral that in this country, the top 1% of YouTubers get all the likes and subscriptions. John Kerry. Please remember to ring the notification bell. President Joe Biden. If you like the show, call the TV guide and tell them. You know, the thing. Kamala Harris. Batman would want you to like and subscribe. <laughs>